A month following Ruta's pivotal meeting with the generals, an unexpected order echoed through the corridors of power, an immediate and unannounced assault on Tejera. Diplomatic norms were cast aside, and even the faintest murmur of parliamentary influence was eclipsed by Ruta's overwhelming authority. Without a whisper, 50 cruise missiles and ballistic missiles hurtled toward Tejera's weapons production hub. Ruta aimed to cripple Tejera's arms manufacturing capabilities, disrupting the supply lines to the front, the distinctive guerrillist rockets, known as parent and baby rockets, boasted a unique strategy. Upon launching a parent rocket, it released 20 decoy daughter rockets, creating a veil of confusion for enemy radar. This intricate dance allowed the rocket to alter its trajectory unpredictably, rendering it nearly impossible for radar systems to distinguish between the parent and child missiles, Tejera stood paralyzed in shock at the unprecedented guerrillist assault. President Wiz's face reflected disbelief, grappling with the unjust initiation of war against Tejera, a nation unprepared for such an onslaught, Tejera's air defense radar, despite its advanced capabilities, faced an unprecedented challenge. With the advantage of blocking detected missiles and launching interceptor missiles, Tejera's air defense system was designed with extreme sophistication. The interceptors possessed the capability to follow the target missile and change its trajectory in tandem with the target's movements. The air defense radar of Tejera illuminated with hundreds of incoming missiles, an overwhelming swarm impossible to intercept comprehensively. Even the most advanced air defense systems faltered in the face of this saturation. Tejera's defense apparatus relied on interceptors designed with precision, automatically controlled by lasers and CPS, consistent positioning system, akin to ancient civilization's GPS. However, the guerrillists, forewarned of Tejera's sophisticated defenses, clandestinely engineered missiles to overwhelm Tejera's air defense saturation capabilities. In the heart of Tejera's defense command center, President Wiza stood with his military advisors, watching helplessly as the screens filled with red blips, each representing a lethal projectile hurtling towards their territory. The room buzzed with tension and urgency as operators scrambled to analyze trajectories and deploy interceptors. Wiz's mind raced, trying to find a strategy to mitigate the impending disaster. Mr. President, we've lost contact with several interceptor squads. They're being overwhelmed, one of the advisors reported grimly. Wiza clenched his fists, his jaw set in determination. Redirect all available interceptors to protect civilian population centers. We can't let these missiles reach our cities, as the order was relayed, Wiza felt a pang of anguish. He knew that sacrificing interceptors to protect civilians meant leaving military installations vulnerable. But preserving the lives of his people was paramount. The command center erupted into a frenzy of activity as operators executed the president's orders. Interceptors streaked across the sky, engaging incoming missiles in a deadly dance of evasion and destruction. But despite their valiant efforts, the sheer volume of enemy fire proved overwhelming. Explosions blossomed across the radar screens as interceptors collided with incoming missiles, but still, many slipped through the defenses. Wiza watched in horror as reports came in of civilian casualties and infrastructure damage. Each loss weighed heavily on his conscience, a stark reminder of the grim reality of war. But amidst the chaos and devastation, he refused to yield to despair. He had a duty to protect his people, and he would not falter in the face of adversity, we need to reassess our strategy, Wiza declared, his voice cutting through the cacophony of the command center. Divert power from non-essential systems to bolster our defenses. And mobilize our reserve forces to reinforce key positions, his advisors nodded in agreement, their expressions grim but determined. They knew that the coming hours would test their resolve like never before. But they also knew that failure was not an option, outside the command center, 
Tajera cities were plunged into chaos as sirens wailed and citizens sought refuge from the storm of destruction raining down from the sky. Hospitals overflowed with the wounded, while emergency services struggled to maintain order amidst the devastation. But even in the face of such adversity, the people of Tajera refused to surrender to despair. They drew strength from their resilience and solidarity, standing together in defiance of their aggressors. Amidst the chaos, stories of heroism emerged as ordinary citizens rose to the occasion, risking their lives to aid their fellow countrymen. From firefighters battling infernos to medical workers tending to the wounded, their acts of bravery served as beacons of hope in the darkness of war.